Morning folks, episode two, Digging with Dave. So, we're ready to go to site now. We've got the van here. What kit do I take on site with me? Let's have a look. Most important thing we need, and that is our operating competency cards. As you can see, I've got CPCS cards. So I've, I need to make sure that they are in date, which they are, and we've got the correct categories for each machine that we could be driving today. So I need to make sure I'm only operating machines I'm competent to do. So, cards, safe place. I like them here in my phone. Got them. I call this my booty bag. This is what I can take on site with me. So what do we need in the bag? Two basic adjustable spanners can get you out of trouble. No need to ring a fitter if we've just got a little leak on the machine and that we can repair ourselves. Boom, get them in the bag. Brush, little hand brush. If it's somebody's machine and we get it dirty, let's leave it how we find it if it's tidy. If it is dirty, sweep it out. It's ready for action. Little pack of baby wipes. If it's absolutely horrific in the machine and we're gonna be having the sandwiches, we need to keep it tidy, we need the hands tidy. Baby wipes, just give it a quick clean. Nice and tidy, there we go. Keys. A lot of machines have coded keys nowadays, so we need that key when we arrive on site. But failing that, a lot of machines still aren't on coded keys. Dumpers, rollers, forklifts, always handy. I use a D-clip, all my keys on loop key rings, so I can take the key off I need, so we haven't got a massive bunch of keys hangling, dangling, damaging the key, could also damage the ignition. Keys are important. So in they go. Anybody in the plant industry knows our best friend, rag. We need rag for dipping oil so we can check the correct levels. Also getting in the cab, bit of a clean up. Windows, very important to keep the windows clean. So a nice handful of rag in the bag. One of the most important things, keep hydrated. Whether it be bottled water, tea, coffee, whatever your preference is, make sure you take enough hydration for the day. Also, butties. If you're on an eight hour, 12 hour shift, make sure you've got enough snappy, because you could be stuck on site. Pretty much got everything there. You can add things like phone chargers and bits and pieces to help you through the day. Just a quick note on mobile phone chargers. Make sure your machine is either 12 volt or 24 volt. I have heard horror stories, guys plugging into a 24 volt system and frying the phones. So those are the basics that I like to carry with me. PPE is the last bit of a topic really. So it's quite cool this morning. I've got my high-vis jacket on, warm jacket. Also, Chuck, always have a high-vis vest in. Always handy if it does warm up through the day. Jacket off, get the vest on. Sunglasses, well these are safety glasses, but I like to always make sure that the sunglasses, if you're driving and the sun's blaring in your face, get the glasses on. Two different pairs of gloves. First pair of gloves, oil resistant gloves, with any oils or fluids that we could be handling. And then a nice hard wearing pair of gloves for when we're doing our checks or doing basic stuff. And these keep your hands nice and warm. So these are good gloves. Hard hat. Got to have it walking to and from the machine. I never like to drive with a hard hat on if I can help it. Just be careful about putting stickers on. Make sure that they are approved safety stickers. Make sure we've got them in the kit all the time. And then the last thing, safety boots. Make sure you've got your safety boots. Now, I prefer a nice slip on boot, but Nowadays, there is a lot of sites that don't like these slip-on boots and they specify lace-up boots. So just be careful. You don't want to be turning up on site with slip-on boots. Oh, sorry, mate, you're going to have to go home. Not professional. So I've got all the stuff in my bag. I can walk to the machine with that when I get on site. I'm good to go. So folks, we've arrived on site. We've signed in. I've introduced myself to the site manager, Kev, and I've also had my induction. So I'm ready to go on site. I know what I'm doing. I've been instructed a task, so we're good to go. But just a quick one. A good friend of mine once said to me, when you go on a new site, Dave, always be respectful and treat everybody as equals because you never know who you're talking to. And actually, today is a good example. 
Kev here is our site manager. He works for Luke and I, Clickers Construction. Kev isn't just a site manager. Kev is a very good plant operator and has been for nearly 30 years. Now, if I didn't know that, you could soon get yourself in mess by not treating, treating to people with the same respect. Also, just one last thing before we get out on site. When I first got into the industry at the age of 16 stroke 17, my father said to me, he says, listen, you're going on to plant tire, you'll be driving different machines, you'll be meeting different people. Just remember, 60% is how good you are at driving a machine, and 40% is how you put yourself out there, how you apply yourself to the job by mucking in, being polite, being punctual, turning up, looking the part. Because at the end of the day, we're professional operators. So, we've got all the bits and pieces. Kev, thank you very much. Let's go and do a pre-start check. <laughs>